Hey everyone and welcome back to Divine Beauty Tarot. So for today we are going to dive in and see what message you need to hear right now. So I love doing these type of readings just because they are for me timeless. It's literally at any point that you happen to stumble upon this video. This is when the message is really going to resonate with you. Um, and also too it's just really seeing what the cards have to say. There is no one specific type of question that I'm asking other than, you know, what is it that you need to hear right now? Or at least what message do you need to hear? So, um, like I said, I love doing these type, especially me as a viewer, whenever I watch these on other channels, like other pick a card readings, um, I find that they tend to resonate more with me. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> um, so I personally do enjoy doing these on my channel as well. So that is what we have going on for today. So as you can see, we have three piles in which you can select from. We have pile number one with confidence, pile number two, empowerment, and pile number three, boundaries. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video to meditate on which pile you are feeling most drawn to. As always, I will have the timestamps listed below in the description box. So once you have made your selection, you can go ahead and fast forward to your pile selection. Um, I'm actually really, really trying to get as many videos as I can uploaded for you guys within these next couple of weeks because um, I am actually getting married Uh less than two weeks from now. So my goal is to try to get as much more content out before then. So then that way I can kind of take a little break and, you know, enjoy the married life a little bit. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on future videos that you would like to see uh, me do for you, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. And it'll definitely help me out to just kind of um, you know, see what more, uh, videos you guys would like to see in particular. So, um, other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys at your past selection. Hey group one. So if you selected the confidence card, then this is going to be your reading. So we are actually going to lay off this card for a minute. You do have an additional message here as well with that. So I'm actually going to put these guys off to the side for now. I really want to focus on your tarot cards first, and then we'll go through the rest of your Oracle messages together. So I'm going to go ahead and place these off to the side for right now. And then, like I said, we will go through those here in a moment. So here with your tarot cards, we're going to see what message you uh, need to hear right now, or at least what the message is for you. So your first card that we have is the Knight of Cups, followed by the Two of Cups. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And King of Cups. All right. So group one, off to a good start already. Um, there definitely seems to be a lot of um, emphasis on love emotions here. And the reason I say that is because seeing, first of all, seeing that Knight of Cups immediately made me think a message of love was coming to you or somebody may be making an offer to you or making their feelings known. Um, and it really solidified here with this Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is um, usually, I think of it like the couple's card. Um, besides the lover's the Two of Cups is really just kind of like two people coming together. Um, and as you can see here in the illustration of this card in particular, it's almost like a union. Um, so like I think in here they're depicting it more of like a marriage, um, engagement, um, basically think of it as like a leveling up in your relationship. So if this, if you are in a relationship, one way that we can interpret this is that, um, you know, your partner is making an offer to you. So you could be getting um, proposed to, um, or maybe they want to take the next step with you, whether moving in together, um, just something to where your relationship is strengthening. There is more of a deeper connection forming here. So again, you can kind of interpret that, um, what, however it speaks to you personally, because again, this is a general reading. So I definitely want to try to give as many um, interpretations here as possible, just so that way it does make it a little bit more relevant to you. Um, but just 
the overall deeper meaning here is that there is a deepening um, or connection here happening with this Two of Cups. So I love seeing that here. Um, and then we've got the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is really just kind of being um, a little bit more in like in tune with your emotions, really. Uh, the King of Cups energy is really somebody who is kind of like a master of their emotions. And I think of somebody who is very wise. So it's like they make their intentions clear. They know, they know their feelings. They know exactly how they feel, what they, um, you know, want to present or show to, you know, those around them. And I look at this as more than likely your partner here. Um, because the fact that we have an offer being made, I feel like this person who you are with, it's like they know what they want. They want you. They want this connection, you know, to withstand time. I mean, I think they're ready to take that next big step. So they're making it known. Like, look, I've thought this through. I know what I want. I'm ready to take the next step. You know, my feelings for you are true and valid. Like, this is this is what I want. This is what I feel is what would make me happy, what would make us both happy. So that's really kind of the energy that I get with, you know, the fact that, again, you have all cups here. So very much strong emotions, um, I think, on both ends. This is very much an equal balance, and I feel like this is going to be very well received. Now, for those of you who are single, um, again, this person, I still feel like this King of Cups energy is really this person trying to make their intentions known to you. So if you have maybe have been talking to somebody or maybe you just have, you know, um, known someone who's maybe expressed some interest in you, I definitely think they're going to make their intentions known or at least buck up the courage to ask you out. Um, there definitely is an offer coming towards you here. So um, be on the lookout for that for those of my singles. So this is really exciting. Again, for those of you guys who um, are in a relationship or not, there definitely is just um, I think a deepening or just a connection really happening here, which is really exciting. So that's really, I think what your, um, your main message is really wanting you to just be aware of this. So, you know, just keep those eyes open. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here at the rest of your Oracle cards. Um, well actually, you know what, let's start with this one because we have this one up already. I was going to start with these, but Let's just do these. So we have confidence and we have finding. So confidence innately already to me is just you kind of stepping into this state of self-love, self-worth. Um, I feel like this person, this individual kind of, you know, sees that about you, you being like this confident individual. And I think that's what makes them gravitate more towards you uh, to begin with. You know, um, confidence is a very alluring aspect um, when it comes to, you know, looking for a partner. It's like you want somebody who, you know, has that self-reassurance, not obviously egotistical or self-centered, not that. We obviously want somebody who knows what they want, who knows who they are, um, is confident enough in themselves to not accept less than their worth. And usually when someone sees that in you, that's really what kind of grab, you know, gets their attention and it really makes them want to be around you. It's just like this energy that you give off is, I feel like so infectious and in such a positive way that, you know, how can they not, how can they not want to be around that? So I love, I love that for you guys here. And then we have finding. So the finding card is interesting because I feel like in this situation, this is more kind of just like finding your person, finding, um, you know, just like that love, that connection, just like that deep understanding within one another. There is this sense here where this person almost, I feel like has just like found you, like they found the one that they want to be with. Um, and that's such a beautiful thing here because we've got so much emphasis on love here that there really is just, I don't know. I almost feel like when you and this person are together, there's a sense of feeling like at home. Like I, I found what makes me comfortable, safe, loved. All of those things is really what I feel with this connection here. And it's so great because this is literally like the focal point of 
your reading is this connection being made here and just how strong and magnetic it really is. So I love that for you guys already. Let's see what else we have here with the rest of your Oracle cards. So we have self-worth, okay, metabolic, your trigger statement, I am disgusting, true statement, I am a miracle. Please be gentle and love yourself. Provide your body mind with what it truly needs to carry you on your journey. Okay. So I love these cards because these cards kind of show, I look at them as almost like a balance. Like they show our trigger statements and what the true statement actually is. So if you ever have any self-doubt, which all of us do, we're human, right? Um, when you think anything negatively, especially when it comes to yourself, if you think that you're just not worthy the true statement is, is you truly are. And this is reminding you to be gentle with yourself. That confidence that you're exuberating, I know it's always not easy to maintain. Trust me, confidence is one of those things we all strive for, but it's almost 10 times as hard to maintain um, because we all have bad days, right? We all have days in which we don't feel 100% all the time. And so when we have a statement like this, this is just, again, reminding you to just be a little bit more gentle with yourself, um, especially on those tough days, because you never know, like you have somebody, I think that's just, that's recognizing that sees your full potential and they want, I think, to be a part of that. They want to, you know, kind of tell you how amazing you are um, if they're not already. So let's see. The next one that we have is monthly, and this is receptivity. Trigger statement, I am guarded. True statement, my heart is open. This is a time for you to receive new information. Open your heart to receive it. Ooh, I love this. So yeah, definitely um, <laughs> lower that heart there, or, you know, open it up. Uh, especially for those of you who are single, if you have been feeling like you've been a little guarded, this is the time to open up that heart because you have this offer wanting to come to you to make themselves known. And I think you will be very happy or very pleasantly surprised, um, at what this person wants to offer you. So love that. Next one that we have is protective. This is says immune trigger statement. I am not safe true statement, I am secure. Fill any areas of energetic weakness and strength. You can walk easily knowing that you are safe and protected. I love that. So again, there, this is really all just kind of reminding you that you are protected. Okay. There is really, I don't think a whole lot here showing, um, that you need to be guarded. Um, I can understand, especially if you have dealt with, a past relationship or something that's really kind of put that guard up or caused you to put that guard up. Um, but I feel like you've overcome a lot here. At least this is just kind of what this is showing me. A lot of this is just kind of like repetitive um, statements, I feel like, and just reminding you that like what your self-worth is and that you are, you know, a fucking badass is like <laughs> what I feel like is the overall statement here. Um, and that you don't have anything to necessarily worry about. Um, this is just reminding you that you have everything I think to offer somebody and more and not even, I mean, you don't need to settle for anything. You have somebody who either already is in your life, who recognizes what your self-worth is and how amazing you are, which is why they want to take that next step with you. Or you just have somebody, if you're single, who's seeing all this, you know, maybe on the sidelines are seeing this and they want to get to know you. They want to establish this deeper connection with you because they think you are so fucking amazing. So I love that. The next one that we have is centering. So this says align your trigger statement. I feel conflicted. True statement, I am true to my highest self. Your focus needs to turn within to reflect on stories that are not true for you. Love is the way through. Oh, I love that. Okay, so yes, do not focus on anything that doesn't serve you, anything that is untrue, anything that you've ever been told, um, and maybe by a stupid ex, um, or, you know, just something maybe that just wasn't so great that you tell yourself about yourself. Um, I mean, I can relate. I feel like we always tend to do this when you kind of go back and forth with trying to uh, maintain that self-confidence. Sometimes on our low days, we tell ourselves things that just aren't true about ourselves, but yet we convince ourselves that they are for whatever reason, just to kind of keep us in that low 
uh, vibration. So, um, you know, really release what doesn't serve you here and really just kind of open up your heart because I promise you, if this person hasn't made themselves known to you already, you know, they're, they're wanting, I think, to just kind of show you exactly how they see you. So love that. Okay. So I want to go over a couple more. We're going to actually go through these last because first of all, I love these cards. These are the tea leaf Oracle cards. So they're kind of like extra little messages for you. Um, so I'm going to save those for the end, but your next two Oracle cards, these are what you need to, um, like release or what you should let go of or surrender to. Um, the reason why I pulled these is because I feel like any time, whenever there is a message that's coming through, sometimes, um, whether it's from your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, just spirit itself, if they are trying to communicate a message to you and for some reason it's just not connecting, sometimes it's because we are holding on to something or we're holding on to a certain belief of, you know, maybe something else and we aren't really opening ourselves up to the messages that are trying to come in. So I thought about pulling these message messages to see what it is that you might need to let go of in order to fully uh, see this message for what it is. So the first one that we have is surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Okay. So if you know, this has been something, you know, you feel like it's a little bit you, like you got to have the last word. Um, you feel like you just need to prove that you are always right. Like, you know, best, Hey, look, I, I can relate to this. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just are, but you know what, for the sake of the relationship there, you know, might need to just let that go. There isn't always the need to be right every single time, especially when it comes to your relationships. You know, it's almost like pick your battles kind of thing here. Um, so if you feel like you've always just been a little bit guarded because of maybe situations in the past, this might be the time where you kind of start to slowly let those down a little bit so you can allow this person uh, to come in and just, you know, feel heard as well. Okay. And then the next one that we have is surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Okay. Kind of like what we talked about. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Okay. So this would explain a lot. I feel like a lot for uh, many of you, this really has to do with like a past situation that has kind of lingered a little bit and maybe just how you see yourself or how you handle um situations relationships or your current relationship even now um you know and the biggest thing is is to fully let that go let the past be the past you are a different person you are where you are now you're not with that person anymore you're with possibly somebody new or someone who wants to be in your life um you know, and again, you really want to just kind of focus on what serves you versus what doesn't. And I feel like that's really kind of the big message that we've gotten on here so far is really just talking about you as the individual, your self-worth and what it is you are fully capable of. This confidence card really stood out to me um, as as I was shuffling. And I feel like if you chose this pile specifically for that, it is really speaking to you and how you view yourself and your confidence here. And they really want you to, to see that, to recognize that, and to know again, that other people are taking notice. This other person in your life who, or who hasn't entered your life yet, who's wanting to, um, or who you're already with, they see your potential. They see that. They recognize that. And I think they're just trying to, again, reassure you that you are amazing and that they want something more uh, with you uh, because of your full potential of what they see in you. So I love that for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your final extra little messages. Like I said, these are the tea leaf oracle cards. They're kind of just like little extra um, fun messages. I love to add these in. So let's see. The first one that we have is sunrise. This is new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Love that. We have success. Success. Love it. We have shield. You need to defend yourself. Interesting. So 
I'm going to keep going because that's, that's interesting to me. We have flowers, happiness, door opportunities are waiting for you. Mountain road. You are on the road to success. Two successes already. Wheel indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. <laughs> and then we have wind chimes, peace and harmony. Okay. So let's take a look here because I thought the shield one was interesting. Um, and you do have a knight of cups too, who does have a, I believe he's got a shield on him. Um, so you need to defend yourself. This is interesting because I feel like this and this is just my interpretation. Again, you can, you know, interpret this however, uh, which best suits you. But I feel like because of just like the overall messages that we've been talking about, the shield here in the need to defend yourself, it's almost like you need to defend yourself from yourself. And what I mean by that is just any of the negative thinking that you have put upon yourself without meaning to, um, you know, any of the self-doubt, like we talked about earlier, any, you know, outdated beliefs, anything like that, you need to protect yourself from that. The reason why is because it will hinder your confidence. Okay. It will, if you allow it to take over and you allow that to be your sole focus, that is what's going to happen. And we obviously don't want that to happen because I feel like you are a naturally confident person. You actually are somebody who can stand on their own and it shows. You have so much emphasis on success here, especially when it comes to this new relationship. Um, you know, and you might be a little indecisive. You might be probably just kind of like unsure of things. And again, this could have to deal with a past situation that has caused you to feel that, that way. Um, and if that is the case, take this message as you know, just that sign for you to just be more consciously aware of your feelings, how this has made you feel, and learning to start to let go of any of these negative beliefs, any of these setbacks, anything like that. This is really, I think, what your main message was for you, group one, um, in that sense of like, you have what it takes. You have somebody who wants to have more with you. Um, I think they're wanting to make this offer because they see your full potential. Now's the time for you to see the potential in your yourself. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this reading group one. That was it. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up as it truly helps out the channel. I want to thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hi, group two. So if you selected the empowerment oracle card, then this is going to be your reading. So we're actually going to hold these guys off to the side. We actually have a couple more um, extra messages there for you. So we're going to actually start with your tarot cards and then we'll go through the rest of your oracle cards here in a moment. So I'm actually going to go ahead and place these guys off to the side. We'll start with your tarot cards and We'll just see what message you need to hear right now. So starting off, we have the two of wands followed by the eight of swords and the nine of swords. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Group two. So this is, um, Wow. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to kind of see here a little bit more. Um, okay. So this two of wands, this is what's interesting. Um, because the eight and nine of swords is, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like pretty clear here, but it's interesting. Cause I was like, why, <coughs> excuse me. Um, why with the two of wands, we start this off, but, um, now that I'm looking at this fully, this is kind of giving me a better picture. Um, okay. So the two of wands, typically this is kind of talking about having, um, ideas, having kind of like this drive or this passion to kind of get things going, get things started. It's like, you're looking at the world of possibilities of what you want to do. Um, 
in life. And this can have to deal with career. This can have to deal with, um, you know, just your passions in life. Like if you're um, an artistic person, you know, you're wanting to create new ideas, um, you know, just kind of focus more on your creativity. Um, I feel like there is a big emphasis on just kind of seeing where you could go with this, right? This is kind of just like putting your ideas almost on paper, kind of getting the ball rolling and starting on all that. Now, what's interesting here, though, is the fact that you have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So the Swords energy really talks about our mind, um, kind of like what we tell ourselves or just kind of like our mental anguish is typically what the Swords can represent. And this, I feel like, is what you are possibly telling yourself. I feel like there's a little bit of self-sabotage going on here. Now, the reason I say that is because with the Eight of Swords, this is really much all about feeling like confined or feeling like you are stuck in a certain situation that you can't quite see a way out or you feel like there is no other way um, to get around it or to get out of the situation. However, the one thing about the Eight of Swords that this always usually... Um, I feel like it's kind of like the main story behind the Eight of Swords is that in reality, you can get yourself out of the situation. Um, in this area, in this depiction, this woman, she's surrounded by these swords. Um, they're not close knit together. She probably could get through the back easily um, because you see all eight are up more so in the front. So it's not even really a full circle. So she can easily walk out um, and, you know, it's, she's really not as stuck there as she might think. Um, definitely there's obstacles. That's clearly there, right? There's clearly an obstacle in her way. But instead of finding a way around it or finding an alternative route, she remains there. And reality is, is I feel like as you're kind of starting to figure out what you want to do next, um, you almost feel trapped. You almost feel like I can't get out of this situation. There is no escape route. It's the, this is all I have to work with kind of a thing. And that's honestly, I feel like what the message is here that's trying to tell you is that that's not true. Um, even though it really feels like that because the nine of swords here were shown that this is weighing heavy on you, that you might feel really anxious. You might feel just like, this is all you can think about. There's just so much like heaviness. Like, how do I, how am I going to do this? This is what I want to do. You know, I, I feel like the motivation in, sorry, like the, the, yeah, the motivation is there. Um, but it's lacking momentum is really what it comes down to. So it's like, you've got these ideas, you've got what it is that you envision yourself doing, but for some reason, it's like it just stops right there. And that's where everything else starts to kind of come in, maybe your sense of reality. Um, and I say that loosely because it's, I don't think the full picture, I think it's just what you see right now um, with what's kind of maybe going on around you. And it just feels like it's not attainable. Okay. So, this is, like I said, very interesting. And it's funny because if you chose this card for a reason, this is all about empowerment, right? This is empowerment makes me think of you stepping into your power, right? To you kind of being in charge of this situation. But right now you don't feel that way. So I feel like this is innately what you want. You want that sense of empowerment. You want to be able to go after your dreams, so to speak, or go after your goals um, without any obstacles, without any hesitation, or if you do um, experience those, that you're going to do it with no problem, that you're going to find a solution. And I feel like you are capable of that group too. There is a strong sense here that you can do this. It's just, again, I think recognizing um an alternative route or recognizing that you aren't actually stuck in the situation. I think maybe that might be your first step and then things will be a little bit easier. Let's see what your other messages are. We have justice. Okay. And family. Okay. 
So justice, this is interesting. So this might feel like, <laughs> yeah, things are just unfair right now. Um, you feel like this might be why this is weighing so heavy on you because even though you have like these goals, these visions of what it is that you're wanting to do, you're wanting to kind of get your um, life started almost like kind of getting ahead of the game. It feels very unfair right now uh, for some reason. And this can just have to do with, again, what's going on around you, why you feel so trapped or why you feel so confined. Um, it's almost like you're wanting to have this get sorted first or like kind of like right the wrongs first before you can move forward. Um, yeah, that's really interesting you have with this justice card. I'm going to put this right here real quick. Um, and then you have family. So this could have to deal with a family situation, especially like if you're living at home. Um, perhaps this is why this is a little bit chaotic right now, just because, you know, family, I think family comes first. So, um, that could be why you're having a hard time trying to wrap your mind around something else, especially if this is having to deal with work or your creative endeavors or things like that. It almost feels like a little selfish or you might feel like you're being a little selfish because you're wanting to focus on that and not necessarily what's going on around you. And if that's having to deal with family. So I can see why this feels a little unfair um, for some of you. But in reality, I feel like this doesn't necessarily have to be that. Um, I feel like maybe just talking to your family too, especially if this is dealing with a family situation, um, talking to them, asking them for assistance or guidance in this area uh, might be helpful too. You know, I feel like you might be trying to do this all on your own and it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Um, and yeah, I just, I really get like a strong emphasis on that. Like just things are just, I just keep hearing unfair. It's unfair. Yeah. And that's why there's like this stress and anxiety here. This is interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Um, cause I really want to get a little bit more clarification with the other cards. So the first card that we have is Spearmint, um, also known as conviction. So the trigger statement, no one listens to me. True statement. My voice is heard. Stand strong and communicate your message. The world is ready to receive what you have to share. Oh my God. Okay. So I literally just said talking about it, <laughs> you know, talk to your family, talk to them. Um, yeah, you might just feel like you're not being heard. This is why there's that unfair feeling. This is why I was saying like, I kept feeling like something's unfair. And it's because you might feel like no one's listening to you. No one's taking you seriously. So you feel like you kind of have to do this on your own for some reason. Um, but in reality, you just have to be clear and concise as to like what it is that you're wanting or what it is that you're struggling with. Um, Oh my God. Okay. That's, I love, I love these uh, connections here. The next one that we have is Neurali. I could be pronouncing that mispronouncing that. Sorry. Uh, unity trigger statement. I am unstable. True statement. I am aware you are strengthening the connection between your energetic and physical bodies to help you manifest your goals. Okay. So yes, this is really much, um, about you trying to get to this manifestation portion. Like we were talking about at the beginning, like you have these ideas, you're wanting to get things kind of going. Um, you know, like I said, I feel like there is this strong emphasis on what you want, but for some reason you can't quite seem to get there and you're having a difficult time. And this could be because that trigger statement, I'm unstable. You feel very unstable. That makes sense with this eight of swords, the sign of swords energy here. Things feel out of sorts. They feel very much unfair. Um, so this is really all about you being aware. Okay really being aware and strengthening your connection. Okay. If you do that, this is what's going to kind of help get you to manifest what you want a lot easier. Okay. And then your next one that you have is uplifting, cheerful, trigger statement. I am powerless. True statement. I am excited to see what the future brings. The future is bright. Enjoy knowing that your optimism today fuels your amazing tomorrow. 
Okay, so ooh, I love that. So this is again being a little bit more optimistic and again not focusing so much on the negative here is I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> I totally know that. Um, but again, it's really just trying to get you to be aware of the situation. I think that was really your main message here so far. At least that's what it's starting to seem like. Um, just being aware that you have a way out of this. Um, it's not like you're stuck as you might feel. Um, but you know, let's see what else we have. Now these messages, these are what you need to surrender. Now I selected these cards because I feel like anytime you, you know, there's a message from spirit, sometimes things get in the way of what our spirit guides are trying to tell us. Um, sometimes they could be trying to talk to us in our dreams or leaving signs, things like that. And sometimes when we're just so caught up in our reality, we tend to not see them or we don't hear them. And so sometimes it might just be letting go of something in order for these messages to come in through clearer. So that was why I chose these cards uh, for this reading. So the first one that we have is surrender to your intuition. Tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So literally just like, kind of like what we were talking about, like any messages that they're trying to tell you, oftentimes this comes through in your intuition as well. And this is what you really need to surrender to is to listening to what your gut is trying to tell you here. The next one that we have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eye trained on yourself, focus on your own strengths, attractiveness and power. Okay. Yeah. There's no need to compare yourself to anybody else. That's not what's going to empower you. Okay. You are your own person. You have your own strengths. You have what makes you a powerful individual and you need to remember that. Okay. This is all about you right now. Group two, this is you focusing on what makes you, you. Okay. Um, in stepping in, I feel like into just a little bit more confidence, um, within yourself as well. And then we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. Okay. So yeah, change can definitely be another indicator here too, because there is just this sense of you've got these ideas of what you want to do, but that does require change. That requires a change of your surroundings, right? Um, your comfort zone, you stepping into the unknown. So I know there is a little bit of hesitation there, I think for many. Um, and that could be one of the reasons why too, you might be kind of stuck in your own mind. So I love that there. Okay. So your final messages that we have, these are the tea leaf Oracle cards. Now I love these because these are just kind of extra little messages that we have. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through them and then we'll kind of recap at the end. So your first one that we have is four leaf clover. Great. Good fortune candle, you will be shown the way, bell, announcement, an announcement could be made, chair filled, someone new is entering your life, V, victory in some endeavor, needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted, carrot, opportunity or windfall, Ooh. June. So June can be a very important month and we're about to hit June here in a minute and like stepping into a new experience. Okay. So, oh, I love these. So these kind of just for confirmation, um, to what it is that you're wanting to do here with this two of wands, this two of wands energy, I feel like really kind of speaks to you, what it is that you're desiring, you're wanting. Now, if you can recognize based off of this reading, and hopefully this, this did resonate with you, um, if you can recognize that, you know, you do have alternative 
um, opportunities or you have ways to get yourself out of this trap situation in which you feel like you are currently in. Once you recognize that, I think this is when things will start to um, be a little bit easier for you. And that's where you can start to focus more on your goals, on your manifestation, and you'll start to see the reward because Group two, I will say you have a lot of um, positivity here with your extra messages talking about these new experiences, your wishes being granted. You know, we have, you know, the sense of feeling um, accomplished, good fortune. So there definitely is, um, I see a better outcome. I know it doesn't necessarily feel like that possibly right now, um, but there is good news coming your way. And I think this empowerment card is really where you're going to start to step into um, here shortly. So group two, if that was your reading, definitely let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up as it truly helps out the channel. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hi, group three. So if you selected the boundaries Oracle card, then this is going to be your reading. So I'm actually going to hold off on the rest of your Oracle cards. We're going to put those to the side for right now. And then we're going to go ahead and start with your tarot cards and then we'll go through the rest of your Oracle messages at um, or after we're done with these. So for your first card, we have the Knight of Wands followed by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Six of Wands. Ooh. First off, I just love the imagery in all of these because you literally have somebody, looks like a knight on every single one on a horse. So it's interesting. And you have two knights. You have the wands and the pentacles, although the pentacles is in reverse. So interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so this is interesting. Um, <laughs> with the knight of wands, this is really all about just kind of like feeling like you're ready to take the next step um, and you're ready to go towards it. Like whatever this next step is, there's just like this motivation. There's like this almost like excitement of like, I'm ready for the next thing. I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I'm going to do this. It's uh, trying to, try to think of like a better way to describe the night of um, the night of wands. He's very ambitious. Like he's somebody who's just like, I don't care. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. Even if I fail, it's like, I'm still going to enjoy the process. Like, you know, there's just like this, this sense of like almost carelessness, I want to say, <laughs> but it's like, he's a daredevil. He's somebody who's ready to just go for it. And I mean, in a way it's very admirable because it's like, you, you're not allowing anything to hold you back. Um, you know, it's like, you're just going to go for it and go do it because it's like, well, I'd rather go in, say I tried, than always wonder what would have happened if I did or didn't, you know, instead of that. So it's just very much, he's a, he's a go-getter. He's a forward movement person. And this is also somebody who does things rather quickly. Okay. Um, now the Knight of Pentacles is the kind of the opposite, right? The Knight of Pentacles, when it's upright, he's like slow and steady, right? He's not somebody to just go in without thinking. He thinks things through very methodically, um, but he gets it done, right? And it's, it usually, it pays off in the long run. With a reversal here, this is usually kind of indicating that there might just be a sense of like boredom even, um, and this would make a lot of sense why you have the Knight of Wands here up front, because this is somebody who's like, I, I don't believe in boredom. I'm going to go after and do what I want, how I want. Um, it's just like, why be stuck in a mundane routine when you can go, you know, be a little bit more adventurous and just, you know, go for it. And that's kind of what I'm really seeing here is like just this sense or drive or need to just want to be a little bit more adventurous, you know, be a little bit more of a risk taker. Um, and what's interesting is that you have the six of wands and this is all about victory. This is all about it paying off. So 
kudos to you guys, <laughs> you know, like this is why it's just so interesting because it's like you almost have like these conflicting um, ideals here, like with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, um, but it ends up working out because I think you found a way to balance it out or you found a way to make it work for you is really what I'm kind of seeing here. And yeah, you're, you're kind of going by what you're passionate about, you know, um, if this is like, you know, something that really speaks to you, like if this is you starting like, you know, a new job or just kind of like taking a risk, you know, with leaving where you're currently at, because maybe where you're currently at right now, like with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're not happy. It's just kind of like the same thing over and over and over again. It's like you can do it in your sleep at this point, right? Um, but with the Knight of Pen or the Knight of Wands, he's like, no, I want something more. I want something that's a little bit more fast paced. I want something that's going to challenge me a little bit more. Um, and I know it's risky, but I want to do it. Like you want to put yourself in a different situation because you're not getting anything out of the situation right here. Okay. And that's really what I'm seeing. But by you taking that risk, it's paying off. And, you know, if you haven't already, I mean, I feel like this is just kind of confirmation here, um, you know, with, uh, with you selecting this pile that you're on the right path here. Like you are going to see it work out here. Um, for yourself. So kudos to you guys for her for doing that. Now let's take a look here at the rest of your Oracle cards because you guys did have boundaries. We have blessings and we have closure. Okay. So let's start here with your boundaries. So boundaries is interesting because this is all about kind of like setting up, um, kind of like a healthy boundary, not only for yourself, but for those around you, right? Um, whenever I think of this card, this is really kind of like you getting more centered into knowing um, what it is that you want, what you don't want, um, what you're going to allow and what you're not going to allow, right? It's kind of just like that ebb and flow there. Um, and with this, again, this makes me think of kind of like where you are right now with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. If you are, are in this kind of mundane, just like boring kind of cycle, if you will. Um, you know, I feel like that you're wanting to expand, um, you know, what you already know, you know, you want to do more, you want to kind of broaden your horizons a little bit. And this will be you kind of stepping into something that's a little bit more unfamiliar. Um, obviously unfamiliar territory, but I feel like, again, this is really you, um, kind of setting a different like path for you. Um, is really kind of what I feel with this boundaries cards that it's kind of coming into play here. Now you also could be, you know, just sorry for the peacocks guys. <laughs> Um, you could also just be, you know, gaining a better understanding too of, again, what it is that you are wanting here, because like I said, there is just this sense of, I want more. Um, and it really is, I think, going to pay off here. You've got the sense of blessings here, which is really all about like abundance and, um, you know, fortune here with, with this coming into play. And, and it goes well with the six of wands, which like I said, is all about victory. It's achievement. Um, it's getting what you were looking for, I think by going after, um, you know, this new venture here and the fact that you also have closure. So this could be you just again, closing one chapter of your life to start something new. Um, and knowing that you've gotten everything that you could from it if especially if it is dealing with you leaving a job to start another, you've gotten that closure that you needed and you're going to see that it was worth it in the end. If you haven't already gotten to this point, if you haven't gotten to the six of wands energy or if you've received any of the blessings yet, um, <clears throat> if anything, I feel like you're going to get this closure first. This is what's going to just kind of be like, you know what? I gotten everything I could from this situation and I'm happier. I feel, you know, like more challenged. I feel in a good way. Like I'm actually being utilized the way that I maybe should have been beforehand, you know, or whatever. So 
I love that for you guys here. So we're going to take a look at your other Oracle cards to see what additional messages we have. So the first one that we have is inspiring freedom, your trigger statement. I have no choice true statement. I create my day, my life. It is time to play, do something different today to shift your routine. Okay. So I love this because this is very much speaking to this Knight of Wands energy. You know, he's very much a, that free spirit. He doesn't like to, I think, really have, um, you know, somebody kind of tell him or her what to do. You know, there is just this sense of like, no, I'm going to go and do what I want to do. I'm going to take charge of this. Um, and yeah, enjoy. I think that's the biggest thing is having a sense of enjoyment because I don't feel like there's a sense of joy here with this Knight of pentacles in reverse. Like it's just not exciting. It's not fun anymore. So we want to bring the fun back in, uh, to our lives here. The next one that we have is invigorating bliss trigger statement. Why am I here? <laughs> True statement. I make a difference. You will have the motivation you need to express your light. Know that what you do today makes the world a better place. Now I didn't mean to laugh necessarily here for the trigger statement, but it just made me think of like, why am I here at this job? But that was literally what I thought of when I read that, like, yeah, why am I here? Why am I putting myself through this, you know, almost like agony when I'm not, I know I'm not happy. And, you know, the true statement is, is you do make a difference and you're going to make a difference, especially where you are valued, where you feel happy, you know, where you feel like you are actually contributing. And again, just making that difference. So I love that. The next one that we have is Juniper Berry projection trigger statement. My mind does not rest true statement. I listen to my higher self. Look at each story that repeats itself in your mind as a stranger would. Ask yourself, is this true? Okay. So if you've been projecting anything, um, as of late, okay, especially when it comes to this change, right. In this going from one position to maybe another or one job to another, you know, this is really just, kind of looking, I feel like more into yourself here, um, and not projecting anything negatively, because obviously you don't want to take that with you to this new job or to this new place, um, whatever it is that you're going to. And I think that's where kind of like the boundaries kind of comes into play here as well. Um, you know, and being kind of cautious of not to project too much of, you know, this negative, negative version or, you know, any type of negativity, um, either onto yourself or maybe even to others in this new environment. Okay. The next one that we have is digestive processing trigger statement. I am so worried. True statement. I have the solution. Slowing down and listening to your inner voice will provide you with direction and purpose. So yes, yeah, so we've got a lot about listening to your higher self, really listening to your, um, what it is that you want. Um, and I think that's really what kind of motivated you in the first place to make this move. If you haven't already is because you were tired, you were tired, you were not really getting a whole lot here. And I think you realized it was time for something more. Hence that night of wands energy. Um, so yeah, even if you need to just kind of take a moment and just kind of think it through before you actually do it, do that. Okay. Whatever it's going to do to kind of help you get ahead, I would, you know, take the time to do that. And then we have a DNA repairing trans transmutation trigger statement. I don't know who I am. True statement. I am. There is no efforting required for this shift. Be present and allow every aspect of your being to transform. Okay, so yeah, this is speaking to that transformation. Um, and it might feel a little scary at first, especially if you're not used to this, you know, this type of environment because you've been so used to what you were previously in. Um, this might be why it was so boring or why you felt so mundane there because it was just something that you did and you happened to be good at and you were there for a long time. This might, you might've lost a little bit of who you were. So 
trust the process that this is part of your transformation, that you are starting a new process of finding out who you are and what it is that you truly want. And I think you're going to see you're going to be a lot happier for it. Okay. Now the next Oracle cards that we have, these are what you need to surrender. Um, I chose these in particular just because I find that whenever you need to hear a message, like if spirit is trying to communicate with you, your spirit guides, your ancestors, oftentimes they'll try to communicate with us through our dreams, um, intuition, sometimes signs, things of that nature. And if we're so busy and we're so focused on, you know, our reality, um, it can be a little bit difficult for us to hear or notice these things. And so sometimes when we let go of something, it makes it a little bit easier for us to hear these messages. So that was why I chose these cards. So the first one that we have is surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Okay. So yeah, instead of fighting it, don't fight it just because it might not be what you're necessarily used to. Just trust that what is, is. And then we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay. So yeah, change, I feel like can bring about a little bit of resentment. It can bring about a little bit of stubbornness, especially when it's something we're not used to. Hence why I think boundaries is so important here, because this is kind of finding a healthy balance between the two. Um, because we are, I see we are changing here. We are shifting our energy, going from this sense of boredom or going from this sense of like, you know, repeat to I want something new. I want something different. I want something that challenges me, something that's more exciting. Um, and in this transition, we can sometimes lose ourselves a little bit because of what we were used to, to what we don't know. Um, so there is going to be possibly some tension here. There is going to be a little bit of stubbornness and just trying to, again, understand what is. So setting a healthy boundary for yourself is going to be important um, to get you to this place of where you start to feel like, all right, I did it. I made it. I survived. <laughs> you know, things worked out the way they were supposed to. All right. Now for your final Oracle messages, we have the tea leaf Oracle. I love these cards because these are just like additional little messages for your reading. So we're just going to see what else um, you need to hear right now. So the first one that we have is beetle, good fortune. Love to see that. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Star, guaranteed success. Seahorse, family matters. Career. Ooh, so we were talking about career. So this definitely is a confirmation for career. Clouds, temporary problems. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And happiness. Look at that. End it with happiness. Okay. So yeah, group three, this is interesting because we've got a lot of additional messages that are speaking of good fortune, success. Um, we definitely had some confirmation that this did deal with career. So for many of you, this can definitely be exactly just that going from one career to another. Um, <clears throat> obstacles to overcome. Yes, this isn't going to be necessarily a walk in the park. Like I said earlier, any type of change there's going to bring about a lot of, I think, little obstacles here and there. It's basically because anytime you go from something that you've been doing for so long and then all of a sudden you go to do something that's completely different, it's it's almost like your body and your mind are trying to be like, no, go back to where I was comfortable because change is scary. It's like we tell ourselves that, right? And so when you find that you're being maybe a little bit stubborn or you're being a little bit more impatient or things like that, um, and you want to just retreat back to what you knew, remember why you wanted to leave in the first place or what it was that you were looking for with, you know, this Knight of Wands energy, you know, with just like that drive, that passion, you wanting to be challenged, you know, all of that. Um, and also to think about the fact that you are going to be successful. You've had so many emphasis on, you know, you've got blessings. We had, you know, good fortune, success. Um, 
yeah, we just had so much that just kind of confirmed that you guys have, um, you know, a lot, especially even too with the six of, um, six of wands, we had victory here, you know, just talked about, you know, this being successful. So this is going to work out in your favor group three. You just have to kind of endure a little bit of the things that kind of come in their way that just remember they are temporary. Nothing is forever. Um, but it's going to lead you to, I think a much happier place and you being, um, I think a lot happier overall for it. So group three, that was your reading. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up as it truly helps out the channel. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in, for liking, commenting, sharing, all of that good stuff. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day night, evening, or wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.